Hello, we are back for another week of Women's Wednesday. And today it's going to be short and sweet. And I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about this medication called Vivance. I have been really seeing this, uh, especially in the clinic that I work at in Connecticut. I see so much of this medication. So Vivance, it is a, I guess, would you call it a modern day speed? Basically it's a dexamphetamine. It's used for ADHD. It can also be used for eating disorders, but, and I am not arguing that it is effective or ineffective towards those things, but I have a problem with women. I see mostly women on this, honestly, uh, maybe an occasional man here or there, but it's really mostly women that I see. And when I've asked why they're on the Vivance and aside from ADHD, ADD, I get a lot of, oh, the answer is just fatigue. I'm just taking Vivance because I had some fatigue and my doctor put me on it. So, you know, Vivance isn't, it's basically, so it's speed. It's like an upper It's like a legit legal form of speed. 2020, here we are. We've got people on speed, doctors writing prescriptions for fatigue. And I have a problem with this because, listen, if you've got fatigue, you're going to just put a Band-Aid on it and you're just going to put someone on speed? Like you're just going to give an um, amphetamine? Like this just doesn't make sense to me. It really doesn't. If you have fatigue, there are a million reasons for that fatigue. You could be iron deficient. You could have a thyroid issue. You could have hormone imbalances, adrenal issues. And you're, you're just going to be given a prescription for something that's going to increase your, I mean, talk about giving you a jolt of, yes, it's going to give you the energy, but you know what? At the expense of your adrenal glands, your body is going to be on such a high rev that it, your adrenals are going to bottom out. And I'm, I've, my gosh, I'm, you know, conventional medicine it definitely has its place by far. I mean, yes, I know emergency um, situations, really um, big issues. We need conventional medicine, but when it comes to something like this for fatigue, no, you can't just write a prescription for speed and give it to someone because guess what? their adrenals will plummet. All their hormones are going to become out of whack. And to put those back together again, let's just address the situation from the get-go, not just blindly put someone on speed or just test for a TSH and say, oh, that's normal. You're fine. It must not be your thyroid without checking a full panel of thyroid. I mean, I just, I feel like a broken record here. I know I always say this. I all, I know I always talk about don't just have your doctor um, draw for a TSH because that really doesn't give us much information. It really doesn't. There's a full panel. There's antibody testing, free T3, free T4, reverse T3, regular T3, T4. I mean, the list is long. And in order to have and know comprehensively what is going on behind your fatigue, you need full hormone panel, full thyroid panel, full iron panel, check deficiencies, check chronic infections, check for viruses, Epstein-Barr, CMV. I mean, the list goes on and on. HHV6, HHV, um, HSV2 and I mean, and one, I mean, it's just, 
There's herpes viruses out there that no one knows that they have. There's parvo, parvo viruses that people know, don't even know that they have. The list is long for these viruses. You could be battling this chronic, chronic infection. You could have candida in your gut. You could have parasites. You could have a worm. But let's just write a prescription for speed. I feel like it's so negligent to be able to do something like that. I feel so strongly about this. If you can't, <laughs> if you can tell, I feel really strongly about this. I feel that you, it's a band aid that's not, that's just going to make the person worse at the expense of all of these other systems in their body that are just going to go off kilter and out of whack have anxiety disorder. You won't be able to sleep. I mean, so many things it will affect in your body. If you're taking it for ADHD and you feel like it is, it helps you. I just want you to know then at least check all of these other things that could be potential also underlying. We need to check those adrenals of yours as well, cortisol levels, a four-point saliva test to check for your adrenals. This is really important to know. You need to know what this drug is doing to your body and the consequences of it. You may be flying high all day because you're just on basically a legalized medicine that's speed. And... It causes heart, like tachycardia, heart issues, cardiovascular problems. I mean, the list is, goes on and on. So if there's another way you can address your ADHD possibly, or can you, you know, maybe change to a lower dose or not take it as often, or really stay on top of what's going on with your hormones and your adrenals, because absolutely it is being affected by this drug. And I am tired of seeing people and women being put on this medication to handle fatigue. It's insane to me. It really is. If you can find a functional medicine practitioner that knows how to do all of this, all of these testings to get a really good stool sample, to send it to a great lab, not the local Quest lab, not the local lab that just draws your blood down the street. No, they will not do the best stool testing for you. No way in hell. (laughs) Trust me on this one. It hardly picks up anything. So Stool tests, you need, you know, check adrenal tests. And let me tell you something, an AM cortisol test that's done with the blood. No, it's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough for me to know what that one number is because you need to know what your adrenals are doing for you all throughout the day, in the morning, around noon, around six and at bedtime. And that gives us a really good look at what your adrenals are doing where you're starting the day off, where you're ending your day, that one lab test, it's not enough. I'm going to tell you that right now. So if you're on Vivance and you're still, you know, maybe it's helping you in some way, shape or form, and you want to continue to stay on and you're doing it for ADHD, then at least go ahead and at least do some other tests. Make sure your adrenals are functioning okay and that there's a follow-up that you have someone that can support you through this, that can help you with your adrenals, because if not, they will bottom out on this. You will run them to the ground. And I'm just amazed at how many women come into the clinic and they're just on Vivance because they're tired. And I hope this helps someone out there that's listening to this, because if you've been prescribed it, I feel really deep down that it's negligence. It really is. I mean, come on. There's so many reasons for fatigue. Let's dig a little deeper. Let's do some really good comprehensive tests. Find a functional medicine practitioner, a naturopath in your area, and let's do this. Let's get you feeling better. You don't need to depend on an amphetamine in order to get your life back to feel better. 
It may take a little time if your adrenals are already starting to decline, but we can get them back. And that's not, you know, I just wouldn't want you to be in a lifetime of speed. And then at some point it's your adrenals are not able to get you through, get, you know, get you through the day. And then you're just increasing the amount of speed that you're taking. It's ridiculous. It really is. So if you have thought about it or if your doctor's brought it up and it's for fatigue, please don't say yes. Find someone else, find another practitioner that's more into health and wellness, more of a functional medicine or naturopath that can help you through this because the help is out there and there's so many of us out there to help you. So coming to you on a Sunday, I'm a little revved up over here, but I will all talk to you soon and be well. And thank you so much for listening wherever you are in this world. Be well. Bye for now.